everyone. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. I'm going to try to give you some time to get on here. I know it's early in the morning, um, pretty much, and I don't really do morning um, go lives, but this one, you know, I woke up with it in my spirit, and I was like, oh, my God. So I really just got to go with the flow of what God is saying and what God is doing this hour. And um, one of the things that really... I was really like, I can't even really describe it, just to be honest with you. I'm going to be walking and talking. Because um, it, it really it, re it really got into my skin when I understand what's going on. And a lot of people don't understand. They really don't. Because we're living in a time to where everybody's acting religious, acting like they know God, and they know nothing about God especially if they don't understand how to tap into the spirit i'm talking about tap into the spirit and ask god what is going on and so i'm addressing this morning about the 14 young black girls that were snatched off of the street of washington dc from 14 to 18 years old no news nationally no cnn no fox no nothing and i'm gonna tell you why and this is not going to be pretty. I'm going to tell you right now. There's more that's going to be snatched because these people move in numbers. The elite move in numbers and seasons. I keep telling y'all that. Everything is spiritual. I know it looks like we're just living in this world, but everything is spiritual. And you have to understand that if you don't understand the spirit, you don't understand what's going on. You're going to think it's crazy. Come on, somebody. And that's exactly what the devil wants you to think, that he doesn't exist and that it's crazy. But I'm here to tell you right now. It's a certain number. See, and I just posted something. And I want y'all to read the post before this live. I just posted how in Washington, D.C., they have a basement under the White House. I'm telling you what I saw in the spirit. They have a basement under the White House where they sacrifice people. Y'all may think this is a game, and I really don't care who believe it or who don't. But I will say this. That's what's going on because they know they're about to unleash martial law. It's coming. I don't know when it's coming. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I've been talking about it for two, three years. So... You know, don't ask me a date. <laughs> I just know it's coming. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And from the way they're planning it, look like it's going all around the world. Then it's going to hit America because America is the one that's going to give them some hell. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Got Some of y'all got guns. Y'all y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all ain't going alive. Let's just be real. Let's just be real. Now, if somebody come in your house and say, hey, I'm taking you to a FEMA camp. Because here's the deal. I keep telling y'all that. They're, they're, this is how they're going to do it. Everything going to be element of surprise. I keep telling y'all. And some of y'all, well, when you said this, you said this. I'm telling you, keep living. Keep living. I just pray that y'all are ready. That's why I'm getting in shape. I'm getting ready. You don't hear me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I want you to really start praying and fasting. That's where we're supposed to be. Notice I stopped talking about the elite all the time. Because this is what God told me. He said, we already know that's inevitable. We already know what they're going to do. But what God wants you to do is to get in physical and spiritual shape. To when they come, we have, the, we have a surprise too. That we're going to walk in the power of God. That we're going to speak in the power of God. And that's the only way that God will be able to move. Oh, come on somebody. This thing ain't going to be physical. This is going to be spiritual. Now it's going to be physical for them. But it's going to be spiritual for us. That's what's going on here. These young girls, you better pray. You better pray that they do find them. Because if they don't find them, I think y'all understand what I'm trying to say. These people, y'all don't understand how many people disappear. Y'all think they just disappear. Let me tell you something. The elite have a group of men that are so terroristic. Y'all think ISIS is something. These people are cold-blooded. Professional killers. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I know y'all ain't ready for it, but it's the truth. So... What is our position? Our position is to stay in position of prayer, fasting. Come on, somebody. But that, that's something America don't want to do. Because you got preachers preaching just about prosperity. You got people just talking about, hey, we, we, we got to build houses. We got to build. Are you serious? We're in a serious time. We are in a serious time. And the, and the, the crazy part is, this is the great falling away. It's, it's kind of windy out here, you guys. So you got to understand. It looks like it's getting ready to rain. So I'm moving around because it's, it's cold. <laughs> but anyway, I'm telling you right now, we got to be prepared. And to be honest with you, the church is not prepared. No, the church is not. you so busy trying to get a platform. you so busy trying to make a name for yourself. Until if these people come today or tomorrow, and that's what I want you to think about. Are you ready? 
What you mean, apostle? Are you ready to die for Jesus Christ? You're sitting up there playing that role. You're in the pulpit playing that role. But when these people come, are you ready to look them in the eye and say, do what you got to do. I will not renounce Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I'm telling you, this is the great falling away. Y'all don't see people falling away every day, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus, but it's true. Everybody wants to be famous. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants that. Nobody wants God anymore. And he said that this will come. So, so it should be no surprise to us because it's here and it's coming. Hallelujah to his name. But there's a remnant. There's a remnant that's not going anywhere. There's a remnant that's going to die. There's a remnant that's going to say and hold up this bloodstained banner. Oh, hallelujah. That Jesus Christ is still Lord. He still reigns. He still moves in power because it's the blood. Come on, somebody. It's the blood of Jesus Christ that he died on Calvary that still is in our veins. Come on, somebody. It flows through us. Hallelujah. It is the power. It is the working power in the name of Jesus. And that's what they're scared of. See, they ain't scared of you going to church. They ain't scared of you having money. they scared of you having power. they scared of you walking in anointing and that's why they don't want your anointing that's why they'll send plants that's why they'll send people that's why they'll send money that's why they'll send things that you think is god and ain't even god come on somebody hallelujah it's time for the church to regain power everybody here wants to have a tactic and a show entertainment is over with as a matter of fact you ain't gonna even have to you can't even fight them with entertainment come on somebody hallelujah because these people are walking in power the devil this is his time the antichrist is gaining momentum I don't know if y'all see it. I see it in every faucet. And the more I see it, I'm not going to lie to you. I thank God something is shifting in me. Something is shifting in me. I'm talking about, I got to get this weight off. I, got, I feel like I'm training for the last fight. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm just going to be real. I feel like I'm training for the last fight. And guess what? If it's on his own, honey, I'm going out with a bang. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. God has been too good for me. Hallelujah. Enter me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you what's going on, though. People got jelly back. Yeah, and that's because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. See, when you're really getting that word, and, and God really bring you from where he brought you from, you know you can't go back. I don't care if you fall. You know you can't go back. I don't care if they talk about you. You know you can't go back. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When y'all going to stand up and quit acting silly? When you going to stand up and be a real soldier of Jesus Christ? When you going to denounce what the world is singing? When you going to stand up for what's right and quit acting like you don't understand what's wrong? Now, I'm telling you right now, we better pray for these women, young girls. I ain't going to call them women because they're 14 to 18. Y'all don't understand. Some of them are virgins. They sacrifice virgins every day almost. I'm telling you what God loves, and that's the truth. I know you don't want to hear it because the, the, the world it, it tries to hide what they're doing. I say try. But if you really look at it, they're kind of blatant. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you what I know and what I see in the spirit. Y'all don't notice I've been quiet lately? Because I'm training. Y'all don't notice that? I've been training. That's why I ain't been on glide. I've been training, honey. Because guess what? I know what's coming. But I also know I'm going to stand like a soldier for Jesus Christ. So God bless you. I say stay. Stay rooted and grounded. Because I'm telling you, they send, they send in professional plants. How I know? <laughs> Ask me how I know. Y'all be surprised how many people come at me with money, offering me this, offering me that, acting like it's from God. And I look and I see right through them and I be like, <laughs> really? Been that, done that. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I say it's time to walk in power, Holy Ghost power. Yeah, that's if you're real. Now, if you ain't real, we ain't worried about you anyway because you're going to fold and you're going to take the chip anyway. Let's be real. Hallelujah to his name. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Y'all know what time it is. Roll out, soldiers.